Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and trying out the new ColourPop and Hocus Pocus collection. Now, I feel like everyone was kind of excited for this. I know I was. I know a lot of other people were. We all know how messy of a launch this was. <laughs> But nonetheless, I got my hands on the whole collection, so I'm super happy about that. Right here, I will have a timestamp of if you want to watch the swatch portion, or if you just want to go ahead and skip the tutorial. Some people don't want to watch the swatches, some people do, so I definitely want to leave that option in here for you. Yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and what I thought of this collection, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I am back with another ColourPop collection. I know, I feel like... I've done so many lately. By the time this video goes up, you guys have maybe not even seen one of them, but I'm sorry, there's a whole lot of ColourPop coming in the future. Um, but I'm so excited about this collection because it is the ColourPop and Hocus Pocus collection. Now, yeah, I love Hocus Pocus. I grew up watching the Halloween movie, so I'm excited to try this collection. I was kind of like wondering at what point someone's going to do a collection, but I'm kind of glad ColourPop got it since they are so affordable. And I already saved time because I already took everything out of the boxes, so yay me. I will put the prices right here on the screen because I just don't have them right in front of me and my phone's about to die. I'm not 100% sure where you can still get this collection. Um, you may still be able to get an Ulta. They may do a restock. I'm, I'm really not sure. You know, with beauty brands, when they say limited, you never really know how limited it is, you know? First, I'm going to start by swatching the cream gel liners, and there were three of them in this collection. One in the shade Sistas, one in Trick or Treat, and one in Black Flame Candle. Alright, so this is Sisters. It's like a really pretty red, pink, orange kind of eyeliner. And ColourPop liners are always super creamy, and this, you know, is the exact same way. This is in the shade Black Flame Candle, which I love. It's just like a metallic, like mossy olive green color. And then this one is in Trick or Treat, which is, which is this like metallic plum purple color, which I love ColourPop for their like colorful liners, just because like I don't want to spend $20 on a bright yellow liner when I can Go spend like five or six on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the Glitterly Obsessed Glitter Gel. There were two in this collection. One in the shade a Muck a Muck a Muck and another in the shade A Glorious Morning. Like I really like ColourPop's Glitter Gel formula. I think it lasts a really long time, but I don't know. It's like how often do you need glitter like this, you know? On a side note, this smells like candy. Like, like I said, I don't use them often. Um, I have all the ones from, I think, the Villain collection and then one other collection I bought from, but... I don't remember them having, like, a sweet smell. Like, that smells like candy. Okay, it either smells like candy or I'm starving. But that is what it looks like. I'm gonna get a close-up in just a second of these swatches, but... Super pretty. You want, like, an affordable you know, pot of glitter to put on your body or cheeks or just something that, or just something like that, then I highly recommend theirs because they are affordable and last really well. This one in a muck, a muck, a muck is so beautiful. The swatch of this does not do it justice on camera. Like, it's beautiful. All right, and then there were three lash styles, one for each sister. So this is the style in Flirty Witch, and this is in the style Clever Witch, and then this is in the style Boss Witch. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just swatch everything now, including the eyeshadow palette and the lip palette, and then decide what I'm going to use. I typically do my eyes and then my lips and swatch them while I'm doing it, but I kind of want to like start putting all the swatches in one part of the video which is what I used to do so let me know if you guys like it or if you like it more like spread out if you only want to watch like certain sections or if you guys like to see all swatches together so if you want to watch them you can watch them or if not you can have a timestamp and go to the tutorial part so definitely let me know because I'm not sure. I feel like sometimes when I wait to swatch them at the end I like completely forget once I get my makeup done yeah, so there are three lipstick shades 
with three corresponding lip liners. It comes as a kit. There's one for each sister, and they are all different shades of red, which, which I'm actually not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited that they were all red because I was looking at my collection the other day thinking, hmm, I really need more red lipstick. And like, I'm being serious, I'm not being sarcastic. Like, okay, yes, I have more red lipstick than anyone needs, but I still feel like I need more. You know, like I need more options. Like, my nudes go on and on and on and on, you know? Like, on for like two drawers, I think. But I don't have a ton of reds. And I really like the color red just because I think it's like a really nice bold color. And I don't know, I feel like I like reds for the winter and the fall. Like I used to like more like cranberry, purple kind of tones. But I don't know, I've kind of switched to like liking red. Alright, so the first lip bundle is called I Put a Spell on You. And it is the Winnie lipstick and the Come We Fi lippy pencil. All right, that is a beautiful, beautiful shade of red. That perfect, like, brick red lipstick. I love ColourPop's lip liner formula. It's so creamy. So the lip liners are definitely more matte. These are cream formulas, so there's going to be a finish difference on them, but color-wise, they look pretty much identical. It's not like there's, like, a contrast, which with reds, I like. I don't really like reds if I'm matching a red lip liner to not be the same. Now sometimes if I do like a red with like a brown lip liner that's good for me but like if I'm using a red lip liner I want it to kind of match the red lipstick you know. Alright so this is the I Am Beautiful lip kit and it has the lipstick in the shade Sarah and the lip liner in the shade Lucky Rat Tail. Which, that is just an absolutely beautiful burgundy shade. Oh, love that. And this is the I Smell Children lip kit, which has the lipstick shade Mary in it. And the lip liner in Spinster Ladies. Oof. Okay, I was doing so good with my swatches until then, but hey. That is just a beautiful, beautiful true red. Like, so beautiful. Like, well, on a side note, I think I'm good for red lipsticks. Like, these kind of hit the ball for me. But, oh my god, they're beautiful. And I love ColourPop's lipstick formula. I've used it so much in the past. And these feel the exact same way, so it's going to be the same quality, but oh, they're so beautiful. And the next product we have is the Gather Round Sisters eyeshadow palette. I love, love, love the tones in it, and this is just so cute. Oh, I love how it look. I'm going to swatch these. I'm going to go down the road like this. I normally go like that, but I don't have that much room on my arms today so we only have hands and like a little bit of the wrist. Alright so this is in the shade Full Moon which is really hard to see but it's just a really beautiful like cream shimmery color and it has just like little specks of silver. This is in the shade Come Little Children which again is just a really nice cool taupey brown with shimmer in it and it's Again, a silver shade. This is in the shade Winch. That's a beautiful, oh wow, that's a beautiful shade. All right, this is the shade Hello Salem, which is just a nice, really neutral kind of crease shade. This is the shade Tis Firm, which is just like that like kind of fiery red iridescent shade. And this is the shade Night of Frolic which is just this beautiful burgundy plum shade. So this is the shade Brew Potion, which is a glittery brown shade. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the shade Vaccary Binks, which is just a purple burgundy plum kind of shimmer shade. This is the shade Dead Man's Toe, which is a a little bit of a lighter plum color than that last shade at Night of Frolic. So this is the shade On Toast, which is just a really pretty neutral brown shade. Love that, but it's such a pretty color. 
This is the shade Yabos, which is a light olive green shimmery shade. And this is the shade Bewitched, which is just a really brown, kind of mossy, almond green shade. This is the shade Coven, which is like a chocolate brown with gold glitter in it. This is the shade I call it a bus, which is a matte black with like gold shimmers in it. And this is the shade Goodbye Cruel World, which is just an absolutely beautiful like deep kind of taupey chocolate brown. Let me just say this palette doesn't look like crazy, but when I was swatching the colors, I just, I kept seeing so many looks like that I could do pop up in my head. Like, I'm excited to use this palette, like really, really, really. All right, it is time to get started on this makeup look. Mm, on a side note, how cute is this coffee cup? It's like, got a little Halloween thing around it in my name. I'll leave the store that I bought this from, link down below. All right, so I'm gonna start with the shade Hello Salem in the crease. One thing I want to mention that I just noticed is if you swirl your brush in it, it does have a little bit of powder kickback. Again, nothing crazy. If you tap your brush in it, you definitely don't get as much, if any. So, just something to know. Now I'm going to take the shade on Toast and just focus it a little bit lower in the crease. So I absolutely love the brown shades in here, but I'm going to go in with this Bewitched shade and start working that on the outer crease. I'm going to start with a really small amount because I don't really want this look to be super dark or anything. That's actually a really pretty shade. Like I said, I'm just... Building that up so slightly. If I didn't already have my foundation on, I would be a little bit heavier handed with it, but since I do already have my foundation on, I will just build it up slow. Then I'm gonna take the shade Winch and put that in the center of my lid. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way in. Just because I feel like I want a little bit more you know, brightness in there, yeah, I like that. And I'm gonna take that on toast shade and run it underneath my lash line. Take a little bit of the Hello Salem shade on a pretty fluffy brush and just put the smallest amount on it and go and blend it out a little bit better. I'm gonna take a little bit of that winch shade and wet my brush and just in the very center you know, kind of just intensify a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I'm actually going to go with the eyeliner in Sistas and line my lower waterline with that. And for lashes, I'm going to take Ball Switch and use those. My lashes are okay. I'm not crazy about them. Um, one, I kind of found them a little bit hard to apply, which for a lash this thin, the band should have been, I feel like, a little bit easier to maneuver. Because um, I feel like with this small of a lash, I shouldn't have had to put eyeliner on, but I really feel like eyeliner would make these lashes look a little bit better. I mean, they're not bad. They're just definitely not my favorite lashes I've ever tried. All right, so that's the complete eye look. Now I gotta decide on lip color. I'm actually gonna go with Winnie so I can have that like brick red color. All right, so the lips are beautiful. Eyeliners are beautiful, the glitters are beautiful, and the eyeshadow palette is beautiful. It is the exact quality that you can expect from ColourPop. It's comparable to all of their other good quality stuff. But yeah, I hope everyone has a really fun and safe Halloween. 
in the comments let me know your favorite Halloween movie and how many times you've watched it this month. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my other future uploads and I will talk to you soon.